they're going to be featured today because, I mean, I bought these rugs because of them. What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Tatiana if you guys don't know me and if you love fashion and interiors and lifestyle stuff then be sure to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification button so that you guys don't miss out on when I upload a brand new video. So they're just chilling in the background, don't mind them. Today we are talking all about ruggable rugs. One year later, I did a ruggable review one year ago and I was just so excited to get them. A rug that could be washed. I was in potty training phase and stage of my life and needed something that could be durable, that I could wash, keep clean because my little pup was peeing on everything. So I have a whole list of pros and cons and I need to share them with you. If you watched my first video, you would go and buy a Ruggable right now. I'm here to tell you guys otherwise and tell you exactly why I'm over them. So without further ado, let's get right on into this review. I'm going to start with the cons just because there are more than there are pros and I want to end this off on a good note. So let's go ahead and start with the cons. The fact that it is washable is fabulous. The fact that you need to move everything off your carpet to wash it is ridiculous. My little old self tried to move my bed, my king size bed, to try and wash my damn carpet and um, full sweat, just it was not a good day. And it's not realistic to be doing that you know, if your puppy potties or if you're trying to wash them on a regular basis. It is so inconvenient to be moving everything to get my rug into the washing machine when I need it. I feel like it would almost be easier to get a vacuum and just like wash your carpet whatever once a month, once every six months, whatever you feel is necessary. So that's my con number one, is I didn't put two and two together when I was so obsessed with having a, and so excited about having a rug that could be washed, that there is a lot of work that goes into having to wash a rug, like moving all of your furniture and just having to move it all back. It is very disruptive. My second con would be that it does for me, does not fully dry in the dryer. So when I do move everything out of the way and get my rug in the washing machine, I then have to pull it out and drape it over chairs and wait like 24 hours. So my house is pretty flipped upside down for at least the full day until I can get my rug back in place and the house back together. So. That's another con, which makes me not want to wash it, which then it's like, why would you get a washable rug if you're not going to wash it? Also, because I have washed my rugs quite a few times each, um, I feel like somehow, some way, they have shrunk. They are not the same size because now I'm noticing that on the side, um, the Velcro pad that the carpet lays on is noticeable on the sides, so it doesn't sit even and it just doesn't look aesthetically pleasing to be seeing that velcro rug sticking out from underneath as well because of the fact that i have washed it so much i've noticed that my edges have started to fray my little stitching and threads that hold like the surging if you will of the carpet have started to fray and it just looks terrible not only have they frayed but it's absolutely everywhere where my carpet is curling up so it's not just the corners anymore like it was when I first started washing them and yes I do use the tape still but then when I do go to wash it I have to rip up the tape and then do it again so it's a lot it's a lot of upkeep if I'm trying to put it simple it's a lot of upkeep I swear I'm not hating on Ruggable right now it is just my honest, honest opinion and what am I here for if I'm not going to be honest with you. 
you guys need to know before you invest in something like a big old carpet. I think the last major con of mine with these rugs is that they bubble within the middle of the rug. So they don't lay completely flat. I've noticed in every single one of the ones that I have, they bubble in the middle. It's almost like an air bubbles in them and I, you know, the only way you can get it out, I'm assuming, is if you fully unvelcro it and then try and lay it out flat again. But I mean, I did that initially putting them down, so I just don't know if it's over time as people are walking on it, it bubbles up, but it doesn't lay flat and because they're so thin, it's very noticeable the bubbling. So I don't like that. The few pros that I have still on these rugs is that yes, it is washable. And if you were to spill whatever on your rug that you could throw it in the washing machine and it will probably come out. But that being said, you can probably get the same thing from a vacuum cleaner. I hear the Bissell one is really good. I would probably still recommend a ruggable rug if you're going to be using it in a spot like a kid's playroom, somewhere where there's not much furniture on the rug and it is very prone to get like paint or marker or food spilled on it and stuff like that, where and where there are children playing constantly, where you want to maintain and keep it clean and fresh. Otherwise, personally, I can tell you, I will be tossing or donating or giving away my rugs. Um, I'm, I'm over them. They've lost their character for me. They don't look neat or tidy or luxurious. And I just feel like a rug is supposed to ground the space and really, you know, ground it. So when it, the rug is like shredding on the edges, it's like flipping up, it's very flat and thin, it's just, it's not appealing. It's not doing its job. So for all of those reasons, I can say personally that I do not recommend getting the ruggable rugs if you just have a normal everyday today life and are just looking to buy a new rug. I would go to HomeSense or, you know, Wayfair has great rugs and just maintain them with a really good vacuum cleaner. I know they cost maybe a couple hundred dollars, but that's going to last you forever and you can use them on every single one of your rugs. And not just rugs, you can use them on furniture. I've seen people use them on their um, couches, like on their ottomans. So it's a multi-purpose tool. So that is that. I hope I didn't offend anybody. If you guys have a ruggable now and you love it and it's working for you, then that's amazing. If you are like me and you've had a ruggable and it just didn't work out for you, I understand you and I feel you. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them for me down below. I answer to absolutely everybody. And I know you guys are going to be wondering and waiting to see what I replace my ruggables with. So I will keep you updated over on Instagram. Be sure to follow me if you're not already. I post a lot of interiors, fashion, and just lifestyle content. I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you in my next one.